Just briefly, and begin with two shark attacks just days apart. The latest at Australia's most famous beach, Bondi. They come as we've obtained exclusive video of a man-eater just metres from swimmers. Stand back a bit. Stand back. We basically came in from about a foot and a half right up to ankle deep water and nearly beached itself. So. Wow. Eric, beautiful. Look at Eric. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Uh, probably coming in about two and a half feet. Two and a half feet. I'm a bit, a bit closer because I actually pushed back one of my mates and that's uh, to get him out of the road. You're watching a close encounter with an aggressive two metre shark. It's in a feeding frenzy, trying to take the bait. And what's scary, it's happening in just a few centimetres of water. I've uh, never seen one in that shallow in all my life. Brett Waddle took this dramatic home video while he was fishing. I thought it was a very playful shark, and for a shark to come in that shallow, um, either it was very, very hungry or it's just got no fear of anyone. As I'm paddling out, a guy shoots past me and a, a couple other guys are behind him going, get out, get out, get out, it's sharp. It's Australia's most famous beach, but as the sun set on Bondi yesterday, it became the location of our latest shark attack. A 33-year-old surfer mauled by a monster close to shore. I just saw his severed, severed hand or his arm, you know, just like obviously he's been chopped straight off. I've been here about eight years and um, yeah, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Today, there was no sign of the predator, but only a few were brave enough to go back in the water. Just take a look at how close we are to the shore. We're less than 50 metres away, and this is where the surfboard rider was attacked. And I tell you what, on a clear day here at Bondi, it's also where people like to go for a swim. Now, experts are warning that more and more sharks are swimming closer to the shore. They say it's only a matter of time before an attack like this happens again. Ben, I think my, my biggest fear is that we are seeing a massive increase in the shark numbers out there. And those increase in shark numbers are translating into attacks on the beaches. It's not just near our beaches. Two days ago, a Navy diver was attacked by a shark in Sydney Harbour. He later had his hand amputated. Over the last three years, we've seen a steady increase in the shark numbers, but also a, quite a big increase in the actual size of the sharks that we're seeing as well. Michael Brown is from Surfwatch, which patrols Sydney's northern beaches. These are just some of the man-eaters he's seen lurking close to shore in recent months. Look, predominantly great whites off the coast, more so bull sharks, that sort of thing, inside up the estuaries inside the harbour. But, you know, as a rule, great whites, bronze whalers, uh, hammerheads, you know, that sort of thing is, is most common out there. Just stand back a bit. They're increasing in numbers because of the bait fish. This will probably happen over the next couple of years. I think next year will be worse than it is this year. You know, it's definitely something to worry about, be a little more cautious when I go in the water. But it's not going to stop you going in the nah, water? No, definitely not. I like the water way too much for it to stop me. I love to surf and, uh, and you know, with, with that risk, I choose to swim with sharks. North Bondi lifesavers Nick and Graham say it's still safe to swim at their beach. Guys, should people be afraid to, to get back in the water? No, not at all. I mean, let's be honest, you've got more chance of being killed by a vending machine than you have by a shark out there. We would say to people, um, the beaches are patrolled, there's last guards on duty. You're always going to be safe as ever if you swim between the flags. I think a few more people have been killed by sharks and vending machines, but never mind. Well, out of the ashes this week have emerged remarkable stories of survival. People who faced the full force of the bushfires and lived to tell about it.